Okay, we got a couple more problems we're gonna do here. The first one says we wanna find log of zero on your calculator. So there's, there's a couple previous examples before this one where you can get some practice using the log and ln keys on your calculator. Keep in mind that your calculator only will do two different types of logs, a log base 10 and a log base E, which is actually gonna be your ln. In this case, I have a log and I don't have a number underneath it. Whenever you see a log with no number underneath it, it's always assumed that that's gonna be log base 10. It's kinda of like when you see a square root, the index is really a two, but they don't write it. it. Just shows square root. Same idea here. If you don't see a number written, it's always gonna be uh, base 10. So technically, I wanna find log base 10 of zero. Now I can do log base 10 on my calculator. That's the log button that's on your calculator. You can do that. Now if you put this, this in, the problem that you get is going to give you an error on your calculator or it's going to say undefined. So what that tells us is that we're not allowed to put any number we want into a log. There must be some kind of restriction on it. So that kind of leads to the next question. We want to talk about well, what's the domain of a log? What numbers are we allowed to put in there? Well, we haven't looked at the graph, we haven't seen the graph of this one yet, and instead of getting a bunch of values and making a table, instead, it's better to actually think about it as, as far as an inverse. So remember the log we talked about before in the previous video, the log base b of x is actually the inverse of the graph of y equals b to the x. So because of that, we want to draw the inverse of that graph right here. Now I've already drawn this line here, the line y equals x. All inverses are going to be reflective about the line y equals x. That's a symmetry line, so you can take one part and fold it over on top. So that means that the graph of log is going to be, if I take this graph and flip it over this way, that's what the new graph is going to look like. Uh, what I also know about it is two different points on each side of that dotted line, the, the uh, x and y values switch. So I have 0, 1 here but it's gonna be one zero on that one. So I know that these two points are gonna be switched. So I need to make this one appear down here. So instead of having a horizontal axis until following out, what'll happen is it's gonna follow this one out. It's gonna go through that point one zero, and then it's gonna continue out that way. So this line, it is true, this would be the line of y equals log base b of x. That's the graph of that one. So. Again, you can see that if I take this part and fold it over the line y equals x, this part's going to lay perfectly on top of that one. I have my opposite x and y values. So this right here is the correct graph of y equals log base b of x. Now that I have this, I can go back and answer this question here. What's the domain of log base b of x? We're going to look at the picture. So we're not going to look at this one. We're looking at the log graph right here. We want to see what the domain is. Domain is talking about the x values that the graph is using. We notice that the x values, no part of this graph goes beyond the y-axis. So that means that this is a vertical asymptote. That means that I'm starting from zero and going all the way to infinity. However, this line itself, I can't actually have it equal zero. We already showed before that if I put zero in, it's undefined. So it means I can't include zero. So that means that zero to infinity, that actually would be the domain. I'm only allowed to use positive numbers and I'm not allowed to include the zero as well. So this would be your domain. So therefore now we know what numbers we're allowed to put into the, the log. We're allowed to put in numbers that are positive only and that would be domain. So next we're going to take a look at a couple uh, different examples of finding domain.